How far back, Skip, on the camera? How far back? Uh, maybe four meters, three meters? Um, I think from that, about three meters. We get good pictures of it then. A radically new way of observing and learning about the health and function of our ocean is under construction at locations throughout the Western Hemisphere. Professors John Delaney and Deborah Kelly have spent years leading the preparations for the University of Washington's role in building a cabled observatory to study the ocean and seafloor associated with the Juan de Fuca tectonic plate. Both have studied and made several discoveries in this volcanically active area throughout their careers. Delaney has been the key leader in utilizing cables to bring high levels of electrical power and bandwidth to revolutionary new kinds of oceanographic instruments. The cabled observatory's roots are right here at the UW. Delaney first began thinking about using telecommunications cables for a permanent presence in the ocean in 1991. I was at the American Geophysical Union meeting in San Francisco with a colleague of mine. He said, you know, it's very frustrating using the submersible Alvin and being at sea for 15 days, sometimes 20 days. So you have five hours max on the sea floor. You are there three or four dives during that period and then you come back two years later. And you're supposed to understand how this complicated submarine hydrothermal system has evolved. He said, well, you know, the communications community is now laying fiber optic cables on the seafloor. The first one was laid across the North Atlantic in 1988. Maybe we could get a used cable or something and you know, do something with it. I said, well, yeah, we could stretch it from Seattle to the Juan de Fuca Ridge. Put in an abstract and, and work together for six or seven years on that concept. While we talked about it and wrote about it and thought about it and started working with people that were involved in coastal oceanography and global oceanography, new ways of doing science in the oceans emerged as the theme for, for the Ocean Observatory Initiative. The cabled system is now part of a project that is national in scope, involving multiple institutions and scientific disciplines and several different locations. Thanks to the cables, anyone with an internet connection will be able to access live data coming in from the ocean and seafloor, including high-definition video from an active underwater volcano. Ocean Observatory's initiative, it's the largest project funded in ocean sciences. So there's the Cable Observatory that provides real-time data, two-way communication, uh, and has a large footprint, and not only on the seafloor, but also through the water column. The, the second component is the global high latitude sites, which are moorings. Uh, they have lower bandwidth, lower power, they're not cabled, and so all the data are transmitted uh, in smaller packages over satellite. And then there's two uh, coastal observatories. So there's over 600 instruments through the entire OOI network, and all those data are public. It's a logistical uh, challenge. Uh, but I always enjoy it, it's like a big puzzle. The equipment is so novel, it's big, offload people, offload gear, onload people, onload gear, and it's hard to imagine how many pieces have to come together to have a successful cruise and making sure everything is working and planned out as well as we can. We plan out all the operations hour by hour. And it's really exciting in a kind of a sick way. I'm sure never in my life will I ever again have the opportunity to change a science, right? And oceanography, once it gets in place, it's never going to be the same again.